Ordinary night? No says I. Let's take a look at what's new this week. All right, so we've got brand new knives for the week right here at SMKW. We've also got a brand new close-up leather mat right here from Lancelot Leather. There's some pretty nice stuff she, right there. He did an amazing job on this. And look at there, there's his logo right there. Lancelot Leather, Joe at Lancelot Leather. Um, absolutely phenomenal, phenomenal work. Uh, so if you ever need any leather work done, look him up on Instagram. He's fantastic. Um, really cool dude. First up, I want to talk about this one right here. That thing's so crazy, ain't it? We showed this one off at Blade Show in Texas. And um, we ended up getting several of these in. We've already sold out of a couple of them. Uh, this one and the Lava Flow in particular are our... Our, 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 our exclusives. exclusives. Um, so this is the Arctic Storm fat carbon version. We've also got the um, Lava Flow fat carbon version. And they both come with a leather sheath um, that you can, that has like a pocket clip and everything for pocket carry. Because these do not actually have a pocket clip on them. Now, a lot of people, when they first saw these, they were like, oh, that's so tactical because you've got a knife that's got double blades and cha cha. No, that's not what it's for. <laughs> I mean, it is cool looking and it's different. This is a double front flipper. So it's let's the show... modern equivalent of one of these guys. <laughs> yeah. So you know how like a traditional knife um, is going to have uh, typically multiple blades, whether it's a trapper with two blades, a stockman with three blades, something like that, a congress with four blades. This is gonna be a two bladed knife with the intention and two different blade shapes of using them one at a time. Now, I personally really like that. I think that's a really cool concept. And it gives a thicker handle right there so that you've got a really nice purchase. So it's a really sturdy package. It is a frame lock, titanium on the frame, M390 on the blade steel, about three inches on the blade length, I believe it is. Yes, three inches on the blade length. We've got the straight back version right there and then we've got the Tonto version as well. And those are coming in at 377. Now, I know some people are going to say, well, that's a really expensive knife. Actually, when you think about it, it's not because you're getting two M390 blades for 377 with a titanium handle frame, titanium spacer in the middle, it's a frame lock, and the fat carbon. I think that's a really good deal. Most of you are probably going to disagree with me because, I mean, if it's over a hundred dollars, half of you are going to be like, "That's not a, that's not a good deal for anybody." I feel you though. <laughs> I, you know, I, there's a lot of people that struggle with front flippers. Is that what they're listing this as? Yes, it is a double front flipper. So, it is a front flipper, but you can, if you struggle with front flippers. Don't just turn it off yet. Like, yeah, because, you can you can really get right here, and it works just as good as a yeah, flipper, really. Yeah, it's it's phenomenal. I really love the action on this. I was really excited about it when we first saw it, and I thought it was unique enough that it would actually garner a, a lot of support. And we've already sold several of these, but that is one of the new knives in, and I'm really excited about it. It is from Yan Knives, made in collaboration with Riat. Riat. Somebody can also be snarky and comment on that. Riati. <laughs> Riate. Riate. Um, you know, I also think I would like to even see this in a single blade because just if you can like use your imagination and that being one blade, that's a thin knife. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And here's something that I just realized. I didn't even think about this. So we talked about how this kind of compares to a traditional folder, being that it has multiple blades. Well, the name of this knife is the Yan Knives East Meets West. So, typically, when you think about traditional pocket knives with multiple blades, that is a Western culture kind of thing. That is something that um, came from America. So, that the first multiple blade knives were actually developed here in America as traditional slip joint knives. So this is a great East meets West kind of concept with it being a modern folder, but with multiple blades 
and out both sides like that. That's a really cool, like, little hidden meaning, like a little hidden gem there. A little, a little uh, Easter egg, if you will. I like yeah. that. So, I dig that. What do you think about it? Uh, like I said, I think it's really cool. Uh, definitely one that if you pull that out at a show or you're anybody that actually cares about knives, they're going to flip out. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna they're gonna ask you about it. Absolutely. Also, no more jokes. I'm sorry. Uh, today, as of the day of this filming, now this will not uh, actually air um, for a few days, but we've got today is the launch of the new Benchmade Mini bug outs right here in the new colorways. Um, and not going to say that we definitely had something to do with this, but we definitely had something to do with this. Um, <laughs> so we've been doing a lot of custom work over the last few years with our Benchmade bug outs, especially the ones with the white scales. I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> and uh, now, obviously, you can get different colors and really cool, like new colors from Benchmade in the bug outs and now the mini bug outs as well. Still gonna have S30V on the blade steel. Still a very formidable bl formidable blade steel. Blah, 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 blah. FRN on the handles. We've got the, the sea foam, the red, and then that one is, I forget what they're calling it. I call it salmon. That's Alpine Glow. I call it salmon. That's what it looks like to me. Um, but yeah, so we've got the teal, the Alpine Glow, the red there. The teal and the Alpine Glow are coming in with the DLC coating on the blade. And uh, if that color well, actually, is, that's Cobalt Black Cerakote finish. Excuse me, Cerakote, not DLC. If that color is not coming through your screen right and it looks white, it is just like a mint green. So, yeah. To give you a little, little help on that. But really cool little knives coming in at 162 on each of those. Uh, I, I love it. And I love the mini bug out itself. It's, it's very fidgety. Um, it's a great little knife. It's a it's a great little EDC that's not obtrusive, and now you've got several different color combinations that you can that you can put with that. So I, I dig it. I don't have a mini bug out. Do you? Yes. I've actually got two. Huh. The carbon fiber with the S90V on the blade. That's one of my favorites. I actually was carrying it yesterday. So it was. It's in my. It's actually in my carry rotation there. Up next. We've got a new Microtech out the front auto right here, the Hera with the frag pattern on the handle. And I saw this one. This was the first time I actually saw this one in the store. We might have had this one once before, but this is the first time that I've seen it in the store. So I picked it up to show it because I was really taken by this one. I like the design. I think it looks really cool. Coming in at 519.09. Now it's got the... Uh, extra wide pocket clip with the ceramic ball on it right there. This is going to be the Hera pattern. And since this one is the frag pattern, this is actually not painted. This is actually milled. You can actually see the milling right there. So that's going to be actual texturing on that handle. Uh, 6061 T6 aluminum on the handles right there. And it's four and a half inches closed, weighs 3.14 ounces, it's got the apocalyptic finish. And I really like the, the yellow accents. This is the signature series, so it's got Tony Marfione's signature on it right there. And I really like the yellow accent on the backside. And I really dig the simplicity of this straight back blade right there as well. What do you think about that one? I love it. It's a lot easier to open than some of the other ones. Yeah. It's got a, a wider, wider slide yep. on it. Um, I almost, oh, well, here's an example. It's just, it's just a little bit wider for your thumb. Yep. Um, but at the same time, it feels really flat, and it could just be an illusion thing. Yeah, it is It is thinner than it an Ultratech. It is a little bit thinner than an Ultratech, so, and, and wider as well. So, But I don't hate it being wider. No, it, it, it fits in the hand, hand really nice, really nicely. And I don't know. It's just, it's just really nice looking. And then that, that little neon on the back yeah. kind of just makes it pop. And then you got that, what is that, ceramic ball that they're using? Yeah. So, mm -hmm. uh, I love those because they are the kindest thing to your pockets. Yeah, to keep from ripping up your pants and stuff. Yeah. So, I, I like that. It's really cool. 
they're coming in at how much? Five nineteen. Five nineteen. Yeah. So, and I mean, also in that handle pattern, you're able to accomplish getting a wider, like a taller blade um, within that handle than you are with, say, an Ultra Tech or something like that, where you're going to be limited as to the actual height of the blade. So. Yeah, I really dig that one, and that one was one that, uh, I guess, really jumped out at me. I like the color pattern. I just like the way that one looks. Also, next up, we've got some new Demcos in, and we've also got some stuff that we're going to be doing with Demco coming up very, very soon, and some opportunities where we're going to get to show you guys some knives really early and get to do some testing, and you'll get to uh, actually see the drop from Demco on some new knives coming up in the fall. We're really excited about that. But this is uh, one of the newer knives that we got from Demco, just got in. Um, this is the clip point in the AD 20.5. And this one is in S35VN. We've got this in several different colors. I picked the JG10 just because I really like JG10. I think it, it looks, looks good really on good. that. I yeah. really don't like J. I, I don't like that, you know, natural G10 really on anything. But on that, it's changing my mind. I yeah. Don't, I don't know why. Maybe it's the kind of the brush. I don't know. It's, yeah. It's just the, what is it, stone wash on the clip too? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This, I don't know. It ties it in together. It makes it feel more, as you said earlier, tactical. <laughs> <laughs> I've always loved the action on these uh, 8020.5s, um, and they're really good. We also got the new... Uh, fixed blades in, mm -hmm. but we've got a very limited number of those. These actually we have available online. We've got several colors available online. The fixed blade, uh, the bigger one, uh, I forget the name of it, but it starts with an F. And we talked to Andrew about that one at Blade Show, but we've got very limited numbers on that one. Uh, and it's, it's really cool. You need to check it out and take a look at it, but we're gonna have some more fixed blades and some more folders coming in very, very soon. So that's why we kind of wanted to give a shout out to Demco in general, but also show one of these off too and show you that we've actually got several available online in different colors if that's something that you're interested in. Look at that shot right there, getting that patent in there. Oh yeah. You know, I liked these so much that I took yours. Yeah, you did. <laughs> you absolutely did. Are we All done right. with that one? I made a trade. and. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you got a good trade out of it. We both did. We both we both came out pretty pretty decent on that one. This is a nice little. So, Speaking of trades, it seems like we don't talk about that enough. It seems like something the whole community does. So if yeah, you, if you got a good knife trade story, let us know below. That is that. You know what? That's that's a good idea. And I tell you what, that's how we're going to do our giveaway for this week. Oh, sweet! Yeah. So we've got a giveaway coming up in just a minute that we're going to tell you about the knife. We're going to feature it. But we're going to give that knife away. The person who's going to win that is the one who has the most interesting knife trading tale. I want to hear the bad trades. Yep. The good trades. The ones you got burned on and the you ones that you, you go won back on. <laughs> or the ones that you won big on, like somebody didn't know what they had. So, yeah. Let us know what those are in the comments down below. Yeah. That's a good one. I like that. Now, if you've been holding out in this video for something super affordable and really good quality, and really well made and really useful. This Becker BK41 folder right here is awesome. I dig this thing. I think you were really digging on it too. Well, I saw it in the, the package and uh, it's sexy. So it looks just like the bigger version, but this is the mini version. So the blade length on that one is 2.84 inches. D2 tool steel on the blade steel right there on that drop point blade. Ambi thumb studs, four-way wire pocket clip right there. Typically something that you're not going to be able to find on a lot of different knives. Uh, you find it on Spyderco and a couple of others, but in general, it's hard to find four-way pocket clips. So if you've got you know a unique way, if you are left-handed and you like tip up, tip down, whatever. People got... really get into that. The tip up, tip down. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw like one comment on our pocket check video and he's like, oh, wow, tip up. Yeah. Funny. Yeah. <laughs> or tip, and, and I mean, there are people that are the same way that are like, 
tip down? For, how do you, do you even call yourself a knife person if you carry tip down? Really? I mean, can't people just carry however they want to carry? What if it or just whatever have, they want to carry? What if it don't have a pocket clip at all? What are you? <laughs> <laughs> right? What if you're a Yan? You don't have a pocket clip at all. You just want to slip it down in your pocket. Or like a traditional folder. I'm more of a tip sideways type of guy. <laughs> <laughs> I carry mine on my belt. Oh, God, let's start that one in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> you carry your knife clip to your belt? What is wrong with you? Heathen. So that um, that Becker mini folder right there is coming in at forty five ninety five. It's D2 got good black action. Steel, good action. It's gonna be a great EDC beater knife. I would if if you told me, hey man, check out this uh, K bar. It's got good action. I would have laughed. <laughs> <laughs> when does K bar care about action and folders? But yeah, because I mean, typically they're known for you know fixed blades. Fixed blades. So you would never really this this is a sneaky knife. Yeah. Very sneaky. Very sneaky, very sneaky. <laughs> Up next, we have a knife from one of my favorite knife makers, uh, and that's Jonathan McNeese, McNeese Customs. And I got to say, I, I really enjoy getting to see him at Blade Show because of the accent. There's like some commonality there. This one in particular, we don't actually have online right this second, but this is the only one we've got. Now, we do have some of the new McNeese autos, Available online. This one we will have available. I don't know how quickly it will sell out. I'm really digging this one, but I can't afford it. I really want it, and I want a McNeese so bad. I've been I've been <coughs> really dying to have one. I love their frag pattern on this, magnet cut on the blade steel. I love the stone washing on the blade, and I really like the action. Titanium on the handles, and it just feels really solid. And it's a great size. It's a good blade shape. This one I am absolutely digging what do you think about that one right there oh i like it i mean it's uh it's just like uh you know that frag pattern is getting very popular with uh with some of these knives you know with the microtech yeah uh i'll be known as the close-up guy now there we go yeah <laughs> so we're talking a three inch frame lock cpm magna cut blade and Got the matte stone wash finish with the that kind of goes really well with the, I guess green or bronze, frag pattern finish on the handle material right there. And just a really solid knife. McNeese does a phenomenal job in his in his shop down there in Alabama, and they put out really really good stuff. And. I, I gotta say, I, I, I get a little bit disappointed because we never get an, a, as much McNeese stuff as I'd like in, but that's because they take their time and they do such a good product that, you know, they can only make so much. And, you know, if they had to up their quantity, that's when you you see quality start falling off. And, th I mean, these are ones that I personally think definitely warrant their price tag. It is a little pricey, 532 but I'm going to say, coming from a manufacturing standpoint, I mean, I've got a lot of experience in metal fabrication and in steel working, and there's no way I could, I could make that. I, I worked with the machinery. There's no way that I could produce that for that price. So, and that's, what I, that's the, the approach that I try to take. You know, we've got a lot of people out there that complain about price and, and they don't understand. They're like, well, how can that cost that much money? And the way that I try to look at it is after working in uh, a metal fabrication shop and my father owning one for 30 some odd years, I try to look at it and, and look at it from an engineering perspective and say, is there any way I could have made that myself for that price? And when it comes to something like that with the fit and finish, and the quality there there's no way i can do that so it always gets my approval if i can uh flick it from you know spotty flick on that uh thumb, back thumb stud yeah so, and so uh, there's several of those that you've been like nope i don't like it if i can't fidget it <clears> which uh, <throat> according to one of our other comments <laughs> <laughs> Knives are not fidget toys, they're work tools. Oh, I gotta get you that buck 110, boy. 
I did that's get my buck one ten. We both did. Nice. <laughs> if you're if you're mad about missing out on that buck one ten that you saw last week, that whew, man, smoking hot deal. Yeah, uh, we're gonna be getting more in. We're gonna be getting a restock with a burgundy sheath, not a Boone and Crockett sheath. Correct. So same deal, same price. Stupid good deal. Yeah, S thirty V on the blade steel, wood handles, brass bolsters. Such a good deal. I feel like some people are going to be reselling these things. <laughs> well, we definitely had uh, some people buying several of them up, but yeah. we're going to be getting restocked on those. So yeah, stay tuned. Hang on. <laughs> I'm leaving that in. <laughs> hey, at least I at least, <laughs> at least I warned you and was like, hey, wait, don't go any further. What you got next on your pad? Next up, boom! Red foxes are here. No, I'm not talking about the comedian. So right here we've got our new Rough Rider Black and Red G10. We're, t we're calling this our Red Fox series. And these are coming in our magnetic boxes. We've got the Red Fox, we've got the Arctic Fox, and we are also going to have the Desert Fox as well. Right now, these are the ones that we've got in. Uh, we've got several different patterns in. This one in particular is the Stockman, the Sow Belly Stockman right there. And I really dig this knife. I think it's really pretty. Uh, great. I mean, you're talking about the same quality that you know and love from Rough Rider. Built by hand, back for life. We're, we're talking about nickel silver on the bolsters, brass pins, brass liners. And on this one in particular, you've got half stops on all the blades right there. Great walk and talk. Pops together really nice. Um, and the blades are, are fit really nice in there. That's going to be a G10 inlay on G10. So red and black G10 with the red G10 inlay right there. And it's got red liners. You can see the red liners in between there. So really cool knives. We've also got the uh, Arctic Fox version Arctic Fox. right here. And this one is the uh, Sow Belly Trapper. Hey, I have a question for you. What, what's your question? Those of you, a lot of people aren't going to remember that. That's that's been a long time ago. That's you been a red fox joke. Out, you're going to say the people from. <laughs> <laughs> so we're talking thirteen ninety nine for this one, thirteen ninety nine for both of these. So uh, it's looking like that's going to be the case across the board. Another great walk and talk on that one right there. And this one's going to be the white ivory G10 with the black G10 inlay right there and I black G10 liners. It is really good looking. And I don't know if you can see the, I guess, the grain on that right there. It's kind of hard to see. But there is kind of like a, a wood grain in this right here. So you're making it darker with your shield of a hand. But it's going to be the same kind of grain that you see in this but in the ivory right there. And I love that. I think that's beautiful. And again, we're getting the Desert Fox in as well. We just don't have the, those samples in. These are up online. They are not available just yet. We don't have, these were the samples that we were sent, production samples. So um, they're ready to go. We are just waiting on that big box of them to get here. Big so box. up next, this is gonna be our giveaway item for today. And you pulled that one out, and you were like, man, I really like that thing. Yeah. It's like, a, I know. That's why I picked it. It's really nice. It's got a really good grip to it, and it feels sturdy. And, yeah. Um, you know, I think I think a lot of people's problem with assisted opening, yeah, it's assisted opening. Don't turn the channel off yet. It's fine. It's a little assistance. Some people like them, believe it or not. Um, <laughs> I just, I know it's going to happen. <laughs> I think, I think the problem with the assisted opening is sometimes it can feel clunky. Yep. This one does not. Like it's borderline pops, pops out there like an auto. Like yeah. it's good with a thumb stud. It's got a flipper. And... You can do it with you. Can, you can reverse flip it. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's all that matters with me. Absolutely. So this is the SOG TELUS, right there, the TELUS ATK folding knife. This is the squid ink version. We've also got it in like a, 
a green version as well. Um, Cryo 440C stainless steel on that clip point drop point blade. They, that's, that's, that's a drop point. Yeah, that's absolutely a drop point. Um, Ambi thumb studs on that one. Again, assisted opening. Uh, and that one is a liner lock. Is that correct? Mm-hmm. And really, really cool knife right there. I dig that. And at a really great price. $39.99. $39.99. And I like the accent piece right here. Um, the yellow uh, what you, spacer, whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, backspacer. That's, what, that's the word I'm looking for. And, uh, I mean, I dig this knife. It feels really good in the hand. It fills up your palm really well. Um, you know... SOG or SOG, whoever you want to be. And that's Studies and Observations Group, by the way. We'll say every single way to say it. So, haha. -ha. Anyways. Again, I can't make jokes. <laughs> Special Operations. I've been wanting to get one. I have a, so I'm just going to say SOG. You hate it, you hate it. I'm sorry. Um, we have, I have a SOG backpack. Um, never had a SOG, SOG knife. And then uh, yesterday I brought in uh, the Flash 2 that I found in... Uh, a garage. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, the Flash 2, uh, correct me if I'm wrong from what I looked up on it because it predates my time with knowing much about knives, but from what I looked up, it was SOG's first assisted opening when they came out with the Flash, yep. the Flash 2. And uh, they've come a long way, let me say that. <laughs> so, uh, this, this is light years better than what, what I have, but um, they're really good, yeah. good knives. So, like we said before, Tell us your story in the comments down below, and we're going to pick one of those that's going to win this SOG at TELUS ATK right to der. We've also got some other new knives from Hinderer, and now with Hinderer, these aren't new, but these are new to us. We just got these in. They're new in the store. They're new in the store. Uh, we just got these in, so this is going to be uh, the Hinderer Eclipse 3.5 inch Warncliffe. And that's going to be in CPM 20 CV with that nice sharpy sharp warm cliff blade. Right That'd been good on last week's show with all that 20 CV. That's a sticky sticky stab. Yeah, <laughs> sticky stab, sticky stab, and uh, phenomenal action. Really great knife right there. I'm not a huge warm cliff fan, but this one's got a really good action. I really dig it. And tip up or tip down, right hand carry only. G10 on the front side. This one's going to be in the FDE. We've also got this one in a couple of different colors. And we've got the XM18 3.5 inch slicer right here without the flipper. So. I like that one. I've, I've come to the part in my knife journey that I no longer like flipper tabs. I just see for me it depends. Some of them I do. Some of them I have moved on from them, and I'm like, no, I don't want that. I don't want it at all. I just I'm not a fan of it sticking out in the back. Right. And I like I like its purpose, but um, you know, different flavors for everybody. And Hinders definitely brought that to the table with this option right here. So now here is another new knife to the store, and. That's how I know. <laughs> We've got some Hinderer Automatics. That thing's snappy. That one, that one poppy pop pops. I like that. So this is the automatic stone wash. This is the uh, XM18 three and a half inch automatic stone wash right there. And that one is my favorite. That one is gorgeous. Uh, coming in with that CPM 20 CV on the blade steel spear point blade. And I really like, so this thing, this is a really cool aspect of it that I really dig. So the stop pins in there are both, you can tell, heat treated. And as a result, they're flamed. You can see that they've been hardened right there because of their coloring. You see what I'm talking about? So... You don't have to worry about it because this thing is going to hit pretty hard. You can see, like, it jostles my entire arm. 
you don't have to worry about anything happening with those stop pins because they've done a really good job making those and getting those set and getting that actually machined properly. They've done the same thing with the uh, working finish here, which I really like the working finish as well. That's going to be, well, a good working knife because you're not going to worry about scratching, scarring, marring it up, anything like that. But I really, really dig these. I think yeah. these are fantastic. These are very, very sleek. I think... When you pull this out, it, it seems very sophisticated. Yeah. It seems very businesslike, very work-like. Uh, I, like, I like that, you know, you got this hinder print right here above the pivot. I think that looks really yeah. cool. And, uh, you know, I like that. You, it's not you, very often in automatic knives that you can see everything that's going on inside of them. Yeah. So I think that's pretty cool too. And it, I mean, this is a hefty knife. It get, it reaches my ye to prove. Yeah, so. we're talking. It's gonna be. It's gonna reside somewhere in the neighborhood of six fifty ish, and uh, twenty CV on the blade steel, titanium on the handles. Just, it's a statement knife. A great heavy duty knife, and I dig it. I'm really excited to have Hinder Automatics here, and if you're looking for some more affordable options from our new Marvel series. This is the exhibition grade. Is that not a cool box? That is a fantastic freaking box. Um, made by our very own Brian Wilhoy here. And you open that up right there. Got the Marvel's exhibition grade. This one right here is for Tobias because he's going to really enjoy this. <laughs> but we've got that nice large toothpick right there. That thing is massive. Look at that. And beautiful knives, by the way. Nice, I call this like a gun checkering. So years ago, we had a Colt series. So we own the, you know, the Colt name as far as Colt knives goes. And we had a Colt series. I've actually got a couple of these over there on my desk that we had the same checkering done on the bone handles. And I absolutely love that because it really harkens back to old school checkering on gun stocks, whether it be a rifle or a 1911, something like that. And that's why we did it on the Colt series that we had here and brought it back out for this uh, Marvel's Bullet series right here. And this thing is absolutely gorgeous. So that's checkered brown bone featuring a California clip, match strike pull, got the Marvel's blade etch right there. And uh, this one's coming in at just 1999. Even in that nice box, nineteen ninety nine, right there for that beautiful thing. I love it. I'm actually going to be picking up this model, and I'm only putting it, bringing the box out, just so you know, it does come with a box too. Uh, this one, I'll probably be picking up at least probably four or five of these for these will be Christmas. Gifts. They'll be great Christmas gifts right there. So, so this one's got the uh, lanyard hole in the back end right there. And this is going to be the Trapper version. And let me get that one pulled up. So this one we're talking about, the clip point and the spay blade right there. 1999, checkered bone again, clip point and spay, spay blades, match strike pulls. We're talking uh, nickel silver on uh, the shield right there, nickel silver on the bolsters, brass pins and liners. And uh, I, I think this is so pretty. I've got my fingerprints on there, but that is, the checkering is done so well on this. Hey, I'll give them a close-up cam. Oh, you give them a, that uh, Isaac close-up? No, 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 that little close-up right there. Get you some of that right there. That's what the people want to see. That good old bullet. It's sexy, ain't it? It is. It, it really is. It's very classy. It blends in real a lot with the mat. I noticed it was having a hard yeah. time focusing. <laughs> it's like on. I don't know where to focus. Yeah, that's cool. I'm definitely going to be having that. Um, I think the this will it'll irritate so many people, but I like the the lanyard too. And you know what I think <laughs> would really set that off is a nice, well done leather lanyard. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, and I put one on um, on my Weatherford, but something like this, but actually with a thinner oh, leather. Oh, yeah, pull that down here a little bit. Actually with a thinner leather right there. 
That would look like that. so cool. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna have. I think I'm gonna get two for myself. One to carry. One to put up on the shelf. And uh, two for gifts. There you go. So. I like that. And at the price, I mean, what would we say, twenty? Nineteen ninety-nine. Yep. Nineteen ninety-nine. Let us know in the comments down below. Wait, no, we got one more. We got one more. And this one we actually designed. Yes. This one is an SMKW design right here. We've been waiting on this one for a long time from Tops. This is the Modern Gladius, designed by our very own Tyler Pipes and our design team here at SMKW, made by Tops right here in the good old US of A. That one's coming in at 164.95, features a six and a half inch, 1095 carbon steel dagger blade, Gladius style blade. So um, I had somebody, we were talking about uh, Gladius blades and somebody brought up the comment, they were like, you know what? Is that an actual dagger blade or is that a double tanto? <laughs> you know, I don't know. Um, of course, this one's coming in with the iconic Kydex sheath right there. Nice, really nice leather dangler as well with a beefy D ring. Like, this thing is insane. Let's show this sheath right here. Nice dangler sheath right there. Really heavy duty leather, big D ring, and nice kydex uh, on that sheath right there. And guess what? This sheath, watch this, in, snaps in, it's ambidextrous. Can't mess it up. That's right, ambidextrous sheath right there. No extra charge, 164.95. So <laughs> that's gonna be a six and a half inch blade on that one, 1095 carbon steel. Full tank fixed blade, got the finger hole in the back end right there, or generous leather uh, lanyard um, loop right there. So whichever way you want to use it. Um, I really dig it. I think it's a, a really cool knife. Let us know what you would use that for. <laughs> I mean, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of uses for that thing. Um, get off me. And uh, so, do we want to talk about that really quick? Yes, we'll explain what's going on. So, X-Wing, I'm sure you've heard about it by now through I hope all so. of our advertising. <laughs> yes, I hope so. And uh, really cool knife. Uh, this is another one of our designs here from SMKW, uh, done in collaboration with Microtech. We're really excited to bring that one. And this is the X-Wing. This is the double-edged version. We will eventually get other blades in. This is the first iteration. This one in particular is serial number, what, 56? Is that right? Yes. Yes. And um, absolutely beautiful knife. Now, here's what happened. We had the first run of them, the prototypes at Blade Show. Those sold out. We also gave everybody the opportunity, and you've seen in our promotions that uh, you would have the opportunity to sign up to be alerted when the first runs came in. And that's what we've been doing. So we had um, between two and 300 people sign up to be notified when these actually came out. And that way we could give them first dibs at them because we want those people to have something special and a lower number. So right now we are getting so few in at a time and we're gonna keep getting these in, not to worry. But if you want a chance to get in on one of these with the low numbers on the serial numbers, all you've gotta do is text Rebel Scum to 82643. Rebel Scum to 82643. That way you can join the fight and join us Rebels um, as we fight throughout the galaxy. Um, this is a, a really, really cool knife and a really cool opportunity from great. Microtech. And we, we got a great blade still in it. Yeah, M390 on that one. And uh, really dig it. Really dig it. Wow. So that's how you can get in uh, on a chance to get one of these. Again, there will be more coming out, um, and as soon as we do get more in, we will be releasing those uh, in general. But as of right now, we're trying to get everybody taken care of that is signed up for it. If you still want to, you can get signed up by texting that Rebels come to 42396, I think. 423, 82643. I was way You off. got so dyslexic on 8, that 82643. <laughs> and uh, that'll give you an opportunity. You will get texted the next run of them that we get in. So, um, yeah. You got anything else for them? No. 
No. Sorry. <laughs> Such a disappointment. I, I can do. We can do pocket checks. Pocket I guess. Checks? Yeah. Yeah. We can, we can. We can do that. I've got my pena. Hey. Oh, we both went with front flippers today. Yep. I've got my pena sway back right here that um, I had. Uh, actually, Nick, bladed ginger, helped me customize. He did the the flaming, the entropic finish on that on the titanium up here and on the pocket clip. Left it the plain titanium for the backspacer, but you can see the rest of the titanium for the frame is actually still uh, down there. And I absolutely love this knife. It's so fidgety and so fun. I, I dig that. I have the Latvan Mini, and I got this like the first few months that I worked here. The Bounty Hunter! I haven't carried it as much, but today I feel like carrying something really uh, light. No? It's, it don't weigh anything. Yeah. Like it, it weighs less than my, I don't know, it feels less than my bug out and everything else. So I like that you can, I've come grown accustomed to opening it with like my pointer finger. Right. And it's just really... Yeah, it's kind of you just, fun. You just kind of go back it's and satisfying. forth. satisfying, yeah. Very easy to annoy people. and But it Tell also it. has... Tell me about it. Mm. It also has this little thing right here where, you, I mean, it's kind of like a flipper. So, it uh, it gets by with me. So And then Greg's got something. Greg's got... A, a from David Sun. Oh, yeah, the Beyond EDC right here. Thunder. That's a really cool blade. I dig that. Yeah, it's very fidgety, too. You got... Spidey you got that fuller flick. right there that you can spidey flick it with or reverse flick, get it right. <laughs> reverse flick. Backwards flick. <laughs> you flick it backwards. You can even do it with your thumb too. Yeah. So got a lot of options. That is a cool one. I dig that one. Nice carry great. Absolutely. Well folks, that's it for us. And let us know which one of these is your favorite. Let us know which one. Which one, one are you favorite. taking home today? You would be taking home there. So absolutely. Uh, as always, it's been me, TC, here with Smoky Mountain Knifeworks, smkw.com, along with Isaac and Greg. And remember, if it cuts, we carry it.